A good science lesson should be challenging. We shouldn't be finding out something that we already knew. And if children come to that lesson with some prior knowledge, which of course they do because they live in the world, then we should make sure as teachers that the lesson offers a level of challenge for them, that they're going to find out something a bit more, or they're going to think about the question in a different way, or it's going to take them a bit further or a bit broader. So it must be challenging. There should be a moment in a science lesson where you think, God, I didn't know that before, I know that now. That has to be built in. I think we have to have opportunities in a lesson for children to be able to summarise what it is they've learnt. So not writing a great long report, that's not what Ofsted want to see, that's really not very good practice. The, pra the good practice is actually can I summarise what I've learnt now? So giving children opportunities to summarise their learning and express it clearly, that's crucial. I think we need to be quite creative with subject knowledge and encourage children to do that but we also need to be effective. So it's about teachers understanding what the big ideas are, understanding how those big ideas build up, recognising children's misconceptions and being able to bring them to the fore and address them. That also means that we need to have an environment where science is learnt, where children are confident to be able to express their ideas and aren't frightened of getting it wrong. So that, that's key. And as I said, it's all those opportunities for sharing, for actually children sharing their ideas, sharing them with the teachers, teachers giving feedback that really moves children on. So I think those are key elements to a good science lesson.